My top five boudoir poses against a wall. Using something as simple as a wall in your boudoir photos can be the difference between not knowing what to do next and having a secret weapon you can call on. In this video, I'm gonna show you my top five wall poses that I do with almost every one of my clients because it always looks amazing. And I'm gonna give you different variations so that you can see how to play with these poses and totally make them your own. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I am a professional boudoir photographer in Silicon Valley, California. I've been doing this since 2010 and teaching since 2012. I love posing. I love posing so much, in fact, that I wrote a book about it. And this isn't just like an instructional user manual, like you're trying to put together, I don't know, a car stereo. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you some of the images from this book. And in the book, I actually give you the verbiage of how to walk your client through it, exactly how to put them into the pose. So here are some of the examples from it. If you wanna pick up a copy of this, head to boudoirguild.com and you'll find the posing book there on the homepage. I'll link to it down below as well. All right, let's dive into some of these poses. Uh, let's start with the, well, with the first one. That's usually a good place to start. This is one of my favorites and I love doing this because it accomplishes several things. One, it stretches out your subject. It makes them look longer and lean and almost everyone wants to look that way. Now I have some clients who are exceptionally thin and they want to look more curvy. This is going to get that also. So if we look, it just naturally pops out the chest. We get the round curve in the back and it's important to have this gap right here in the back where it's not touching the wall. So you can see light coming through, creating that space in there is what is really going to accentuate the curves. And when we bring this front leg out like that, it really rounds out the booty and it stretches out the stomach, which makes it look smaller. Everyone loves this pose. And what's cool about it, so many different variations you can do. Right now, she's looking straight forward. You can have her look straight up at the ceiling. You can have her look down. You can have her turn her head and look directly at the camera. A ton of things that you can do there with this pose. You can also get in a little bit closer. You don't have to shoot full body. I like to do both. So lips down is one of my favorite crops. You could also just go from like mid drift to, to mid thigh and just focus on middle section. You can even crop where this red line is and go to right around collarbone. There's a ton of different crops that you can do with this. And if they have particularly lacy outfit, you can zoom in on the details, especially with my side lighting. If her hair isn't forward, if it's all behind her, you can get great detail shots of whatever outfit she's wearing. And here's another variation that I like to do. So after the hands are up, we'll bring the hands back down. If she's wearing jeans, I'll have her pop them open like this. If she's just in undies, hook the thumbs in the waistband and then have her look down, look at the camera, look straight forward, look up at the ceiling. A ton of different variations just from this simple pose. All right, let's go to number two. Easy peasy. You just have them lean against the wall with their shoulder. All their weight is gonna be on this outside leg. And the inside leg is either bent like this with the toes pointed, or it can come straight across. I like to do both. And again, what this does, it really accentuates the curve of the hips right here. Um, and when the booty is popped back while she does this, it flattens out the stomach. Everyone appreciates this pose. And again, she's looking out that way. She can be looking down. She can be looking directly at the camera. This hand on the hip can also be hooked into a belt loop or the waistband of her underwear. It can come up in her hair. It can come up underneath the chin. So many different things that you can do with this pose. Here's another variation of that. I just brought the arms together in front and then I have her looking down. Again, she can also, I'll, I'll keep the chin down, but then I'll have the eyes looking up, and then you're wondering like, oh, who is she looking at over there? That is another variation of this pose. All right, let's go on to number three. Another one of my faves. This one, again, you can shoot close up like this, or you can shoot full body. And I love this because the hands naturally frame the arms. And by having her lean back, it rounds out the booty, it stretches out the stomach. And again, I have the corner of her head leaning up against the wall. 
I'll also do this where she'll take the center of her forehead and put it right against the wall, kind of looking down. Uh, great way to do anonymous photos as well. You can pull all the hair forward, pull all the hair back, whatever you want to do. And this one, again, super versatile. So here's the same pose, but instead of having this hand down on the wall, she's holding this flogger over her shoulder and I'm shooting it from behind. Now I can also come in and I can shoot, you know, if she's facing forward, I can do like a lips down crop. I can go middle of the waist to middle of the thigh here, whether she's forward or backward, different angles, different heights, getting close, huge amount of images you can take with very subtle tweaks to this pose. Now, you don't have to use the wall to stand up. You can also sit down and have them leaning up against the wall. Now, obviously she's leaning up against my couch here, but I do this one against the wall also. I just had the couch one handy. Anything that she wants to lean up against, I've done this one up against the bed also. Totally up to you. And the, the trick is to get the lower back and the booty all the way up to that surface so they're not leaning back. You want them to be properly supported and have good posture. And you know, with the couch, I bring an elbow up onto here for one iteration or the bed, you can do different things as well. But with the wall that you assume is gonna go all the way up, just have them lean back up against it. You can swap legs. You can have them bring this arm over the top of the knee with the hand hanging down. I'll also do it where they bring their knees up to their chest and wrap their arms around their legs that way. Here's another variation of that actually up against the wall. So she's holding the clothes up against herself and the camera is on the ground looking up at her. So that versus this where I'm a little above eye level, almost the exact same pose, very, very different images. So again, little ways that you can make these adjustments will make significant differences in how the photos look. All right, and so for our last one, number five, this is, one of my top sellers. I mean, these are all top sellers. I do these in every single shoot. This one especially because there's just something magic about it. And yes, I'm aware that she's up against a backdrop right now, but I do this one up against a wall, just like I do this one. And I can shoot it straight on like this. I can shoot it from down low. I can get up high and I can shoot down at her from the side. Any angle looks fantastic here and different variations. Right now she's holding the dress shirt in front of her. She can just take her hands and put them down on the ground in front of her. She can put one hand down on the ground. She can put one hand on top of her thigh. She can do one hand down on the ground, bring this hand up into her hair. She can look to the side, she can look down, she can look straight ahead at the camera. So many different variations from the angle I'm shooting her and where she places the hands. I mean, I, I can easily turn 15 photos out of this without repeating the same look in any of them. So there you go. Five of my top selling poses using the wall, whether it's sitting or standing, and how you can do different variations to make them all your own. So pick up a copy of the posing book. It is gonna be a game changer for you. And I walk you through how to do all these, uh, like where to put the camera, what words do you tell your client, in what order do you tell them to move the legs and the arms and the chin and everything uh, in order to see success. Plus the fundamentals of posing. It's basically a degree in posing, but it's in a book. And it's a great reference to actually have during your photo shoot. So again, this is why it's in a spiral bound book, but you also get a PDF copy as well. So when you find a cool pose like this that you like, uh, you can just look at the text real quick. You know how to put somebody into that pose. And as soon as you are out of ideas again, you can flip open to another page and you never will run out of ideas. It's a game changer. Uh, and again, you can find that at boudoirguild.com. And I also have live action video posing courses on there as well for you to check out. So do that. You are amazing. See you inside.